Hi guys, this is Patrick Belleu for Screen Studio and today we're going to have a look at a neat software that everybody is talking about. It's called Torrent TV. Uh, basically seems to work on uh, Windows, Mac and Linux. So what I did, since I have an Apple TV, I uh, wanted to try it out and see if uh, my favorite operating system, Ubuntu, is able to handle it. So first, what you need to do uh, is download the version you need for uh, your Linux version. In my case, it's a 64-bit one. And you just download the file, which is uh, quite small, nothing fancy here. And uh, then you go, uh, should be downloaded, there we go. Go in your download folder here, and then uncompress it like that, right click and just extract here. There we go. Almost done. So now you need to go in the extracted folder Torrent TV. Double click and then you have the execut executable sorry, here but uh, it won't work. So you, first you need to do is right click uh, properties, click the permission tabs uh, and click allow executing file as a program. You need to do that because uh, like that it won't work. And then uh, just double click on it and you're almost ready. So it has detected my Apple, t my Apple TV here. Uh, I, we have here at home two Apple TVs. Uh, um, an old one and the uh, version 3 also of the Apple TV. So if you have more than one, you just select the one you want to stream to by enabling uh, or disabling the Apple TV. So um, what I, you can do then uh, is go in uh, your videos and then I have an MP4 here. I will just drag and drop the file there and you cannot see it right now, but I can see the video starting on the Apple TV and you can see that it is currently streaming the video. So it does work like really easily. Um, I would say that they say that you can drop also a torrent file and magnets uh, into here so you can stream directly from the net. I've tried it uh, a few times, doesn't seem to work. So maybe there's a bug and uh, we have to wait for the next version. But for local files, it does work. I have a network drive, uh, also tried to stream from the network drive, but it wouldn't work. So I don't know if I'm do doing something wrong, but if I copy the uh, movie locally uh, on my hard drive, then it will work. Um, another thing also uh, I saw is that if you stop the stream on the Apple TV, um, Torrent TV won't detect it. So it will st still say, okay, I'm streaming. So you need to stop Torrent TV and then start it again. Oh, where is it? Um, downloads. There we go. Here. And then start it again. And then you're ready. Oh, see, now this time it's it has seen the second Apple TV. Sometimes it does see it, sometimes it doesn't. I just don't know why. So uh, let's let me show you if you want to stream to that Apple TV. The thing is, the name there's not much space on the name of the Apple TV. So maybe if I had a tooltip just to figure out which one is the Apple TV I want. So you just disable the Apple TV you don't want to stream to and then drag and drop and then it does start on my Apple TV at the same time. So it works great for local files so you can use your Ubuntu computer as a video server uh, and simply watch your movies on your Apple TV uh, directly like that with a simple drag and drop. Um, that's quite cool. Uh, there's a few bugs here and there. As I said, uh, I tried to uh, drag and drop uh, URLs uh, by HTTP, some torrents and uh, some magnets, but it wouldn't work. 
So I don't know what I'm doing wrong or am I missing something on my computer. But overall, if you have an Apple TV and uh, you're using Ubuntu as your main computer, uh, it does work great. So to get it, go to torrenttv.github.io or simply look for Torrent TV, Torrent TV in Google and you, you'll find the link. Um, next thing, I'll try it. I'll try it on the, on a Mac. I have a Mac available here, so I'll see if uh, it does work better on a Mac. But basically, with Apple TV, uh, that's that's really nice and it's easy to use. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, check out my YouTube channel, which is YouTube uh, com slash Patrick Baller, that's my name. And this video has been recorded with Screen Studio, my latest project that you can get at, let's see that, screenstudio.crumbs.com. Hope you enjoyed. See you another time. Bye.